that's kind of some wedding drama to keep you up on. I'm going to go do it. <laughs> no, I'll go inside. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. Welcome back to the vlog channel. Finally got Sam with me. Um, hold on. Let me get my sunglasses on before I start talking. So, <laughs> we're going to go get pizza tonight. One of my friends is coming over um, to see me. Haven't seen her in such a long time. But... We are, we are just, we've been sitting on the sofa looking at um, like health insurance stuff. We just think we're gonna have to change our health insurance plan because it covers nothing. What is going on? Do they breed animals now? Is that what that looks like? No. That is a goat pen. <gasps> Heck yeah. Our neighbors have a goat pen and it had all the little stuff on there. Oh, uh, all right, yeah, I'm gonna have to go over there and be like them little kids and start playing. Um, but, so I wanted to update some of you guys. I'll share a little bit more later tonight after Allison leaves. Um, a bunch of you guys have been really interested in hearing about the bridal luncheon and a bunch of you guys are like, I'm planning a bridal shower and I don't know where to start. So I can help you for sure a little bit. But bridal luncheons and bridal showers are completely different. I don't know if people play bridal, if they play games at bridal showers still. We didn't do that at mine. Um, they are slightly different. A bridal luncheon is a little bit more formal and a lot smaller because it is literally just females in the bridal party and that are closely related to the bride. Um, so for us, I think it's like 12 people and it, it's not everybody and their mothers. It's not, you know, everyone coming to the wedding. The bridal luncheon is strictly girls who are in the wedding, mothers, grandmothers, and like bride and like if you want to invite sisters. Um, but I got some stuff in. I'll share that tonight. But tomorrow, my bridesmaid's dress comes in and we are officially, tomorrow will be like right at one month from, or Thursday will be one month from the wedding. And one of Kayla's bridesmaids completely just like dropped out of the wedding. And I'm not gonna say why, and like don't, don't trash her for dropping out of the wedding. She kind of had a reason, she kind of didn't. Not logical enough to drop out of a wedding a month before. Um, and so Kayla called, well Kayla texted me last night and she was like stressed out. And I was kind of texting her back and she goes, hold on, let me think. And so I called my mom. Basically what was happening is we were gonna be wearing, me and the girl who dropped out were gonna be wearing pink and then two other girls were gonna be wearing a different color. And she was like, now you're gonna be the only one in pink. So I think I'm gonna have my mom come up there but my mom's wearing green, which is the color the other girls are wearing. And I was like, I did not buy a bridesmaid's dress for this wedding. She was actually gonna let me wear a bridesmaid's dress that I wore last year because it looked great, already altered, in perfect condition. And so I was like, let me just buy another bridesmaid's dress. But we went round and round about what color and having to find the exact color of her mom's dress and does it look good with the other dresses and had to find one in stock, ready to ship, in my size, like good to go. We did find one, I'm nervous, but it does come in tomorrow. So last night I was gonna get on and like share all of this stuff with you guys and I just completely got frazzled because this girl like dropped out of the wedding and it's just a lot. So um, yeah, that's kind of keeping you up to date on bridal stuff because I couldn't imagine how uncalm I would have been. Like I actually did have something sort of similar but mine was the night before my wedding. So <laughs> I'm thinking about Matt too. So one of my bridesmaids got in a car accident on her way to my house and she ended up really, really messing up her arm. She did not show up until like one hour before photos started for my wedding and it was a, a disaster. Um, we, because the girls were doing their own hair and makeup, it wasn't a huge deal. Like she didn't have to meet anybody to do her hair and makeup. Um, but she showed up one hour before and her arm was like really jacked up. I felt so bad for her and we were actually thinking about it that night and we were like oh my gosh like we might be down a bridesmaid if she can't make it because she's she's like she was really hurt and we felt so bad for her it was really sad um she got hit by a car and then while she was waiting for the cops to show up she got hit again so it was it was really bad and then when we went to the <laughs> groomsmen, one of the 
we went to see them and one of the groomsmen was so drunk he was like laying outside just like curled up in a little ball on the porch and did he sleep out there or no no we brought him in the house. okay they brought him in the house but he was so drunk hannah goes he was throwing up so we left him outside until he finished throwing yeah up. and hannah goes oh my god look it works out perfectly we're down one bridesmaid and down one groomsman and i was like you know, at this point, honestly, I think it was better that it happened the night before the wedding because I was like, I, what happens just happens at this point. We're down one bridesmaid, we're down one, but we were, they both end up showing up. Ellen was great, fine, she looked beautiful. Her um, arm really did end up hurting her, but, and she like didn't bandage it or anything and I didn't find that, I wasn't paying attention. So it was like later in the day, one of my other bridesmaids was like, yeah, she like took the bandage off, she didn't want to wear it in pictures. I was like, she could have worn her bandage in pictures. I, I don't care. I don't want her to be in pain. Um, <laughs> and he showed up. <laughs> Bless you. Sober and, well, sober-ish, hungover. And it was all good to go. So that's kind of some wedding drama to keep you up on. Um, but I, she was a little panicky last night. And I called her and I called my mom. We three-wayed. I was like, listen, stop. Everyone stop. My mom was like, and Caleb was like, I'm just so stressed. I don't know what I'm going to do. What if I do this? What if I get my mom to buy a different dress? And I was like, stop. I'm going to buy another dress. I'm going to get it. Like, quick ship now. Just tell me the color. <laughs> so, that's really that. Going to go pick a pizza now, and I will share some of the stuff I have later for you guys. Hey, guys. So, it is the next day. I did not get a chance last night to sit down and share any of this bridal lunch and stuff with you guys. Allison ended up staying a lot later. It was so good to see her. Um, so I just didn't get around to it and today has been crazy. I sat down this morning after my workout and I never, I try not to do this anymore. I don't want to like sit down and open my laptop until after I've done my Bible study, I've showered, all that stuff. And I sat down and I opened my laptop today and the floodgates opened. <laughs> so I had like emails, I had to order the flowers for my sister in-law's bridal luncheon. I had to, what else I have to do? Um, I had to place a grocery pickup order, so I had to meal pl plan for the next two weeks, respond to a bunch of emails. I think I already said that. It was just a crazy morning. Um, but my bridesmaid's dress did come in. I will have to take it tomorrow to get altered because it's about a size and a half too big. I just went based off of my old dress sizes. I didn't think about the fact that I've lost weight when I purchased it, and so it's too big but the strap length is really good. Um, so that's what we're doing. But I wanna show you guys some of this bridal luncheon stuff. So I'll just say, I actually wasn't thinking, I know I told you guys I was gonna share the box that I gave my brother and sister-in-law. Um, if you missed that vlog, so basically I was gonna give them this little box of goodies and all this stuff to like prep for their wedding that like Sam and I didn't do. So I gave them both whitening kits for their teeth. I gave Kayla um, Olaplex and then a purple hair mask because I, like, I'm not a blonde, but she is. And so I hear you're supposed to do that. I got her a pair of bedroom slippers. Um, I gave her a ring box to put her ring in. That's real pretty for pictures. I think that's it. But I also got my brother. This is, ooh, they're falling out. They're falling out. Um, I, my dad, the most random scent ever, this is like one of my dad's favorite colognes and my brother likes it too. So <laughs> I got my brother a cologne and I gave Kayla a perfume to wear for her wedding day. Um, so I have this, in, if it's not broken, I have this in here to take to them because this came in after I gave them the box. So the biggest thing for the bridal luncheon, um, I purchased the flowers today and you can bulk buy flowers at like Sam's Club, Costco. I think that Sam's Club has a lot more options um and i thought you could pick them up from the store i didn't see an option to do that at our store so we were just gonna have them like at the store at the sam's club that's literally across the street from their apartment we were gonna go the weekend of the wedding pick them up and then do the floral arrangements for the bridal luncheon there and they actually have to get shipped so they're arriving here i'm a little stressed about it thursday before the wedding which will be thursday may 6th and they're supposed to come we're leaving that night after sam gets off work and hopefully they'll just be here. If not, we'll just wait. But um, we're gonna take those to Rock Hill with us that night and then I'm gonna do the floral arrangements. I have shared how I do floral arrangements before. It's in a vlog. I think it's like called like TikTok hacks or something. And there's a little thumbnail of me holding flowers. I'll see if I can link it, if I can find it and link it below. But there's this tape trick and that's how you make really pretty floral arrangements. So I bought three of these. They are disgusting. They need to be put in the, um, dishwasher but these are like really big 
pretty square vases and they make very fancy looking floral arrangements. So I have one of these already. I'm gonna take that with me and then these three others. I really, really like these. So I just was okay with buying it because I can use these. Um, so this is what we're gonna be putting the arrangements in. And I'm gonna take four, but I actually think we're only gonna use three. I just wanna have a backup, like just in case. And then what we, so the plan is basically we're gonna use the flowers for the bridal luncheon. We're gonna set it up on the table really pretty. And then my mom's gonna take them and use them that night at the rehearsal dinner. Um, Cause I mean, who cares if they're the same flowers? They might as well get used. And then after that, we're gonna take them to the wedding the next day and just find a place for them. So, I mean, they're really pretty, they're gonna last. So, you know, we're gonna just find a place for them. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. So this is the coolest thing. So we bought these for our wedding. Um, I'm sure you guys can't see it. It's like a gold acrylic. We bought these for our wedding from the same place on Etsy. I'll link it in the description bar below for you guys. I think they're like, a, the wood ones we bought were like a dollar piece. Um, you do have to pay extra for like the gold acrylic. And if you want her to spray paint them white, you have to pay extra. But what we did for our wedding was we waited until we got in all the RSVPs, took a list of every single name, sent them to her, ordered it in regular wood. They arrived in no time at all. And we spray painted them white for the wedding. They looked so good. I love to this day walking into people's houses, like our friends' houses, and seeing that they still have their names. Cause like, this is such a cute little souvenir. So I told mom, I was like, I really think we need to buy these for the bridal luncheon and get them like ahead of time even if people haven't rsvp'd um because they're so cute so like my sister and her fiance they're both named rachel and so i got two rachels and like they won't make it now until the day of so i'm still gonna give them these and then this is the name of the bridesmaid who isn't gonna come but i still have one for her i don't know if kayla will send it to her um but i literally got everyone's name and these are so cute. They come packaged really nice, but I did cut open the packaging, which is why they were falling out. Let's see if I can find mine. Like having this be the second time we've worked with this lady, I can truly tell you like this stuff is amazing. The quality is exactly the same, if not better. This go around, where's mine? This one's mine. So how cute is that? That is the cutest thing ever. So. That's gonna be kind of like a little favor for the girls at the bridal luncheon. And we also bought them favors. My mom has them at her house. Um, she bought little wine cork tops that have little pink flowers on them. And then she bought, the, not the like mini and not the big size, but like the mid size champagne bottles. And then she's just gonna t put the little cork with the flower around that bottle. And then we're gonna lean the little name plates up against those. So I actually need to come up with a seating chart. Um, not that it's that big of a deal. I probably could just do it that day, honestly. But so that's kind of the like bulk of what um, I've purchased because the rest of it really, like the restaurant is so pretty. It's outside. Um, I mean, we don't need to do a ton of decorating. And we have the flower. You got to have a call? Or am I just being loud? It's just the way that you're not loud, but it's carrying. Oh. So like it's just loud. Oh, okay. I also brought my brother one just because I wanted him to have one that matched Kayla's. So. These are really, really cute. I am so happy we bought these again, again from the same vendor. Only thing is, I mean, maybe you could, I just didn't really care that much because I know we had so much time. Um, the tracking was a little bit hard to understand and so I never really got a tracking number. I think my mom did get a tracking number for, like you get a tracking number, but the actual service that they use for to track it is not the best. I think my mom got one for the wedding though. And I think when she got her, she was like, it says it should be here in two weeks and it arrived in two weeks. So it wasn't like a super, I, I know that may make some people nervous, but we ordered ours. We had everyone send in their RSVPs six weeks out and we ordered it and they were here with plenty of time left. So these are going to stay in a secure little box um, until bridal luncheon day. And I am so, so excited. Like those are without a doubt, one of my favorite parts, like a decor wise of our wedding. And so getting to use those for the bridal luncheon, like I can't wait. Um, but now I have to finish my green smoothie and then I got to edit a video. I've been avoiding it all day because it is a long video. I think it's like 45 minutes worth of raw footage and usually you double the time. Not always, but most of the time you double what it took to film to edit. So we're talking like a hot minute to edit this video and it has to go up tonight. Okay. All these effing gnats. Get out of my car. You will die. Oh. <laughs> hey guys. I feel like I'm always talking to you in the car. 
Um, so my bridesmaid's dress came in and it is too big. I think I told you guys that yesterday. Um, so I'm going today to get it altered. Not a huge deal. I do need to tie. Well, I don't know if I need to tie a knot in it yet because it's stuck to my lipstick. No, I won't tie a knot. I'll just pull it up the seat. Um, it's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. It has adjustable straps. So the top is great. The length fits. I can, want, I can see Doug looking at me like, Mommy, where are you going? The length fits. The length is perfect with the shoes I was already gonna wear. I wear these in like every wedding I'm in. They're from Target, they're like 25 bucks and they're the perfect heel height and they're really comfortable. There's a really pretty cardinal right there. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I'm sorry, squirrel moment. Um, there's just all these like gorgeous birds around my house. Like, okay, I'm for it. So I'm gonna go get this dress altered. Everything, literally, I just have to get it taken in. I don't think it'll take them long, but I do need to have it rushed because today when I'm filming this, today when you are seeing it, it is one month until my baby brother gets married and that could, that like makes me want to cry. But at the same time, like it is the best thing because Kayla is le legit like the best thing that ever happened to him. Like they're just perfect. So just makes me emotional, but so excited. Like when you're, when you find your person, it's amazing. When your sibling finds their person and you know like the peace that that feels like, it's just the best thing in the world, so. Kayla, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, but I've been drinking these smoothies, y'all. 26 grams of protein. So the Premier Protein Shakes have 10 less calories and four more grams of protein, but this is legit like a milkshake, and that's what it's called. It's called a Core Power High Protein Milkshake, and I don't know the consistency of it's the same. It's just like a liquid. It's not a true like thick milkshake, but these are like better than the uh, Premier Protein ones. So I'm drinking this. Got to get going, um, and I think that's the only errand I have to run. I'm gonna call it here because I have vlogged I think a pretty decent amount for this one. So yeah, I guess thanks guys for watching the vlog and maybe Sam will be in the next one. Again, I keep just filming when he's at work. So see you Saturday.